Hey authors, it's week four of our mid-grade fiction blueprint series, and today we're going to be playing in ChatGPT, coming up with some ideas for our series. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get going. Welcome back to Bite Size Booksmith, where technology empowers creativity. I'm Angie, your guide on this journey to blend AI with the art of storytelling. In the last video of this series, we discussed how to choose the categories and keywords using Amazon, KD Spy, and Publisher Rocket. I ended up spending hours creating this spreadsheet to choose the categories, and I also began looking for possible keywords. So let me walk you through my spreadsheet really quickly. I put the category name, the rank of the book that's number one in that category. I put the rank of the book that's number 40. I also put the total monthly revenue of books one through 40. I also went and found out how many new releases each category has had in the last 30 days. And then I used their stoplight system in KD Spy, whether or not it's popular, whether it has potential, or whether it's good competition. I also added links so I can easily get to those categories so I can look at additional information. I also grabbed the top five keywords for each of these as well. So that's what I did with the categories. And you can see that I looked at 29 possible categories for my books. And then here we go under keywords. I just started going through keywords and trying to find some that I thought would be a good fit possibly. Here we've got the keyword, average pages, number of competitors. So if it says a thousand, it's actually more than a thousand. And then the average price of the books with that keyword, average monthly earnings, and estimated Amazon searches. Again, if it says 100, it actually means 100 or less. And then over here, we've got the competitive score. So whether it's super competitive or whether it's a low competitive for each of these keywords. So come over here, I've got this dashboard where I'm pretty sure on the ebook categories that I'm gonna choose. Um, I found that there is a book category. So this would be a, a print book category that I also wanna use that has to do with learning disabilities. So I'm keeping that in the back of my mind as well. And then I've started working on keyword, but I'm kind of leaving this super nebulous right now because I, I don't know what the book's about yet. I have an idea but I just want to wait until I get a little bit further along to pick those keywords. It could be something that we wait until right before publishing, once the book is finished, to choose the keywords. For those of you following along from home, I created this Notion document that uh, will help walk you step by step through the process as I go through it. So you can see the different phases down the side here. I've actually got a table of contents to make things much easier to find as well as some important links, such as the channel link, as well as the link to the playlist. So we've got videos one, two, three, and four here. You can access the series business plan that I created from my series, as well as the blank one here. That spreadsheet I just showed you, it's right here. So you should be able to click on that and make a copy of it for yourself if you want to use it. And then uh, we're right here on... Uh, but a video four, which is coming soon. We're recording it now. And then the prompts for today are actually in here. So you'll be able to access them. So let's move on. Okay, folks, before we run to chat GPT and get started coming up with our series ideas, I wanted to quickly go back to our audience analysis. The age group of our readers is 12 year old boys. I've been using actually 10 to 12 and it's been coming out pretty good. So their interests, light horror and mystery. They're interested in Minecraft, Pokemon, and the Roblox game. Some books that they're interested in is the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. And then they're also interested in Five Nights at Freddy's. My readers also have ADHD and dyslexia. We're gonna need to make sure that we are mindful of our format and our pace and also how long the books are gonna be. So we're actually gonna end up with the books that are probably shorter than you would expect. Uh, I'm gonna call them novella length, uh, but I'm gonna 
be working on trying to determine that uh, as we go along. And as a reminder, we also have a secondary audience, and that's going to be the parents and guardians of these boys, as well as educators and librarians. Okay, now we are in ChatGPT4. I've got three prompts we're going to use. I've already pretty well customized them to our audience and to what we're looking for. So let me go ahead. I've got that tab off to the side here. So let's go ahead and grab the first one. It wants to grab everything else too. Okay. So please write 10 premises for a light horror novella series, standalone stories with a common cast for an audience of 10 to 12 year old boys using popular tropes and themes in the children's science fiction and mystery genre and children's scary stories subgenre. All premises should take place at a magical summer camp and include a dragon or other magical creature. The main characters should be human. I also want to make sure that these premises are all original, non-published, and I only want original content. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and send the message. And so it's going to go through and it's going to give me 10 premises. And so we've got the Whispering Woods of Wormwood Camp, the Phantom Canoe at Lake Lurid, the Shimmering Scales of Solaris Peak, Campfire Tales of the Enchanted Forest, the Time Traveling Tent at Twilight Camp, the Secret of Serpentine Stream, the Goblins, Goblins of Grizzly Grove, the Starlight Secrets of Camp Constellation, Ooh, that's cool, the Haunted Halls of Camp Hollow, and the Vanishing Campers of Echo Valley. Normally, I would go through, I would read every single one of these. I would figure out what I liked, what I don't like. I would probably ask it, this is what I like. This is what I don't like. Give me some, give me five more ideas using this information. I don't have time to do that today. So I'm going to use a different prompt. It's actually included as well in that document. I'm going to say book one of the series is going to introduce the characters, the summer camp and the magical world that they live in. Which novella promise would be the best fit for this? And The Whispering Woods of Wormwood Camp. Okay. And then now it's going to tell you why it thinks it would be a great starting point for the entire series. And again, you can read through this. You can disagree with it. If there's another one that you like better, that's great. If you want it, run it through a different LLM. That's awesome too. You can run this in Novel Crafter. You can also run this in Claude if you have Claude Pro and you have access to Claude 2.0. You can also run this in there and get much, I'm not going to say better, a little bit more creative suggestions. Okay, so we are going to then use this one here, the Whispering Woods of Wormwood Camp. And I'm going to put that into my, actually, let me grab the next prompt first. There's, this one has two steps. Stick that in there. And I'll do this. I will grab this and stick it in there here where it says chosen concept name. So basically what we're doing now is we're telling it that we want a synopsis, 500 to 600 words. Again, we're using that children's science fiction and mystery genre and the children's scary stories subgenre. We want seven to 10 tropes, 10 to 15 themes, as well as a title and a series name. And then we also want some premises for books two and three. Additionally, we are going to we want to know what the goals, the motivations, the strengths and the weaknesses are of the ensemble cast. So that's the, going to be the cast that is present in each of the books, as well as a formidable antagonist or antagonistic force that wants something from our main characters. And we want to make sure everyone has first and last names. And then come down here. It also talks about settings within the camp and magical elements as well. 
and then we're also going to have some tone, some style, some mood, the subgenre, tropes, and themes with subtext dialogue. It's a lot, but it's a really good prompt. And it's going to give you a, a lot of good information. So I went ahead and I stuck that in there. So the, the titles is now The Echoes of Wormwood, and the series name is Camp Fire Chronicles. So now we've got some tropes here. We've got the chosen one, the mentor, magical forest, shape-shifting dragon. It's going to move faster than I can go. Friendship, courage, responsibility, good versus evil, trust, magic, adventure. We've got some settings. We've got some descriptor words. And then we have a book two and a book three premise as well. So when they return to the camp, something happens. We've got a uh, magical water sprite. And then here we go. We've got some goblins. So it looks like we've got Jack. It, it didn't quite, I don't think it did exactly what I asked. I think it actually, it, yeah, it did. It gave everyone first and last names, maybe. Yes, it did. Jack Harper, Leo Martinez, and Ethan Clark, and Sam Thompson. These are very AI names. You are going to want to change these names. Ethan, I see a lot. Jack, I see a lot. You definitely always want to go through and un-AI your character names. Otherwise, you'll end up with Willow Creek, which is the most AI name of a city that there is. Okay, so this is a really good starting point. And I'm going to go ahead. We're going to move to a, a new chat here. Let's go on to the version two and give me one second. Now, the version two is going to come from somewhere a little bit different. If you recall, I have Katie Spy in, installed here. And this is the bestsellers in children's scary stories category on Amazon. I'm going to come up here to my Katie Spy. And I'm going to, it's already set to pull. It's going all the way to 40. So I've got one through 40 already. If it was only one through 20, you could click the button here. And I'm going to come here to insights and I'm going to come down here to key success factors fiction and hit copy. And actually, I don't know why I did that. I made some slight tweaks to this. I'll tell you where those tweaks are here in a second. But you can also look, there's different reports here as well that you can also put these into ChatGPT and it'll give you. So information about the category. So let's go ahead and we'll close this and we will come back to ChatGPT. Here is the prompt. Now, what I have changed is here at the end of output, I add after the word similarities, I put and five book series ideas, including series title tropes and series description. And then I added a decus, which is the name for the three asterisks. And I told it that this series of standalone stories with a common cast should include a magical summer camp, a main cast of human characters, and then dragons or other magical creatures. So this is just another way of doing it. Let's go ahead and hit send and scroll down. So it's giving me a comprehensive report on children's scary story genre. So we've got common themes, character archetypes, setting and world building, reader engagement. Okay, down here, series ideas. So it's given me Camp Mystic Tales, Dragon Whispers, Enchanted Forest Chronicles, Mystic Camp Detectives, Legends of Camp Arcane. So you can go through here, see which one of these is most interesting to you. Make a decision as far as, oh, I like Dragon Whispers, but there isn't enough information here for me to get an idea of what it's really about. It's really sparse. So maybe we're here at Camp Mystic Tales. 
maybe you want to learn more about it. And you can just start having a conversation with the LLM. If you have number one, Camp Mystic Tales, let's just do that. Please tell me more about Camp Mystic Tales. And let's see what it says. Oh, wow. It even gave us some book examples in the series. So awesome. So you can decide if you like these or if you want to try another one or if you want to make some changes to this here. You can also use that second prompt from the previous example and have it give you a larger synopsis. So the sky is the limit with these. Okay, let's go to our third prompt. So we're going to a fresh chat GPT page here. And I am going to copy this. Um, this format is actually based on uh, another one of Miracle's templates. This one is based on the action thriller template uh, from thrillers in a digital age. Uh, I've made significant changes. Uh, to make it appropriate for the age group and to include the stuff that we want to include. One thing I don't know is if it's going to pick up the summer camp elements. So let me add this from the previous one as well, where I'm just saying it's a standalone series with a common cast, magical summer camp, human characters, and then the dragons. So let's give this a shot and see how it goes. Okay, so it took it from the format that was in JSON format. And so it just started answering our questions. So we've got a character named Alex Hartfield and a sidekick by the name of Lily Green. And we've got a mischievous spirit who is trying to steal the dragon's magic. Looks like we've got quite a bit going on here. Okay. I missed... Okay, so here we go. Enchanted Camp Chronicles is the series name. Where mysteries bloom and magic never ends. The tagline, it's a fantasy mystery. Enchanting, suspenseful, adventurous. We've got themes of courage, friendship, and discovery. We've got a setting. It's an enchanted forest with a hidden magical camp. So there's quite a bit of interesting stuff here. So I'm actually going to go and I'm going to go back up to our first one. And I'm going to get our... Let's see if we can use this uh, synopsis. Okay, choose concept using, and we're gonna get rid of this. Using the concept above. Okay, and let's see what it does. Okay, let's just start building book two and book three. Here we go. We got our ensemble casts. Yeah. Alex, Lily, and Ethan Blackwood. Again, very AI names. We want to make sure that we are swapping these out with names that you choose. We've got even got some dialogue down here. Okay. So I'm going to have a lot to go through to come through and I'm going to this week work on coming up with 
uh, my series idea. And yeah, that's my homework. You guys, if you're ready along, go ahead and do that as well. Remember, the links are in the, the description below for you to be able to go along with us and write your book. If you don't want to write mid-grade fiction, that's all right. Write whatever you wish, thrillers, romance, horror, whatever you guys want to work on. Absolutely. Don't forget that I will be presenting with the AI Writers Connection in a event tomorrow. The information is right here. Invitation to the IWC Roundtable. The information is here to join the Discord channel as well as to join the actual Zoom meeting that is happening tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Time. Please join us if you are interested. I invite you to like and subscribe and add a comment. Are you writing along with us? Have you come up with a idea for your series yet? Which of the versions of the prompt are you planning on using or are you going to use your own thing because you can sit down and just start having a conversation with chat gpt or again you can go into novel crafter and just start talking to it and coming up with ideas let us know what you're going to do and we will see you probably on friday have a great day